What is up everyone? My name is Matt. I'm a fourth year medical student. I'm gonna try to keep this super brief because I got someone who's installing floors in the room out there. Welcome to my channel. So this month I'm currently on infectious disease. I'll make another video going through this month, all my highlights and whatnot. However, this video is gonna go through my time on the unit, the intensive care unit, otherwise known as the ICU. So I'm gonna bring you along for a full day, start to finish, what's my life like, waking up in the morning, going to the hospital, coming home, what do I do? From a medical student perspective, I'm currently a fourth year medical student. I actually just applied to residency like two and a half weeks ago. Everything is moving like crazy fast now. It's absolutely insane. But I'm just thankful to be along this journey and thankful you guys are here watching this video. If you enjoy it and wanna tag along for the ride, consider subscribing to my channel. But without further ado, let's go through a day in my life in the ICU. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> All right, it is 7, 7.22, a little bit later than I usually get here. All right, let's head on in. So each morning I get here and I speak to the residents about any patients, new patients who were admitted overnight, any patients who I was following the day before, if they had any acute changes overnight. And then we kind of go from there, come up with a plan on, you know, what we should do for each patient. And then I go and see them. I do physical exams. I take a history if I need to. And then, yeah, go from there. been insane um it's 10 o'clock now i finally got a second to just step out you know i got to the hospital this morning was rounding on all my patients and then several alerts were called so a few rapid responses were called as well as um code blue so code blues are generally patients who go into cardiac arrest and when you're on the icu you're part of the team that runs to these people and tries to resuscitate them tries to bring them back um so we also had uh, a few like a rapid response called and i had to rush to that this patient was having like an exacerbation of copd and couldn't maintain their airway so we had to bring them down to the icu um just a bunch of madness and honestly that's what makes it so much fun being on icu because you never know what to expect so it's been a been a pretty crazy morning already All right, so we're back. Quick update. Uh, the attending came, the ICU attending, which is also called an intensivist. Um, he came and we presented all of our patients to him and then rounded and went and saw all the patients again. Um, and then at noon, we went to a resident lecture every day. It's just about every day. There's a series um, where someone comes and presents on a, on a topic uh, for, you know, usually about like an hour or an hour and a half. So I went to that. Um, and now I'm going back to the ICU to go check on the patients. All right, so it's currently 325. I just gave a presentation to the residents on alcoholic ketoacidosis, which is a diagnosis that we've seen a few times in the month that I've been here. Um, talked about the pathophysiology, how it occurs and treatment options. Um, and right now we're kind of like winding down the day, doing a bunch of charting, and that's about that. All right, it is 3.42. I'm so done with this mask. Um, and I'm done for the day. Today was, I mean, pretty cool. Every day I feel like it's pretty cool. You get to see the sickest of sick people in the hospital. So there we have it. That was my day in the ICU. Today was really cool because I got to see a patient who had been there for over a week, really was not doing well at all when they first arrived. And today they were taken off the breathing tube and they were awake and alert about what was going on. 
and uh, it's just really cool to see that, you know. Some patients you really can't do a whole lot for, and it's kind of just their time, but some patients you really can save their life, and that's what's so amazing about the ICU specifically. The downside though is you do see a lot of really, you know, sad and like unfortunate cases, um, and it can be a little depressing, but uh, it's also very rewarding, so. All right, so I'm gonna head home. Uh, I'm gonna hit the gym and then review some topics that were discussed today, some presentations that um, I need to go over and refresh on and some some cases that I, I've never even heard of before. So I gotta do some review before bed um, and then I get to wake up and do it all over again for tomorrow, my last day in the ICU. All right, we just got home and you can already hear them barking. <laughs> So we made it back from the gym and it is 6.49. I'm gonna go inside, eat some food, shower, and then review those topics that I needed to refresh on for tomorrow because I'm probably gonna have to give a presentation on pleural effusions, how to diagnose, how to treat, versus a bunch of other stuff. So it's gonna be a fun night. All right, so it's nine o'clock and I haven't had the chance to review anything yet. Just been kind of like winding down um, from the day and everything. So I'm gonna lay in bed, study some material and hopefully I get enough in there to uh, not sound like an idiot to the residents tomorrow. But on that note, I'm out. All right, so there you have it. That's what it was like from start to finish, full day in the ICU. I had a really good time for that month because I was able to stay with my parents and, you know, come home to my dogs every day and just having a way to kind of disconnect from everything was really, really awesome. Especially because I spent so much time away from home, you know, these three years of medical school, the first three years of medical school, now being able to spend a full month at home you know, with my parents and my dogs was just awesome. And it did a lot for helping me relieve stress, which is super important. So I hope you all enjoyed my video. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. I'm gonna be working diligently these next couple weeks to get caught up on all my, um, all the content that I've filmed. So bear with me there. If you have any videos you'd like to see me make or suggestions for any other type of videos, whether it's studying in medical school to you know, balancing work and life, things like that, anything related, let me know, leave it down in the comment section below. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.